trail when we started so we'll be completing that um, the the electoral commission cancelled uh, stopped us from going to some districts ginger was one of those districts that i was planning to complete my um, campaigning i thank god that that's where i launched my manifesto so it's been blocked then it's a big loss because we won't be able to campaign and we're not allowed to have a bigger crowd then so we'll move on to the rest of the districts and cover those um electoral commission as you already know they've closed out some districts however they have not yet they're making it difficult to approve the change of our campaign uh, trail because if some districts were blocked it means there are days that we are free so we wanted to shift those days and go to other districts but electoral commission says that it's only the chairman who can actually approve um, the change of um, districts so it's like they don't want us to even campaign in, in the districts that we've not been uh, given permission in the districts that are free for us to campaign in so it's a bit confusing right now but we pray um, the other thing I'm going to spend the rest of these other days doing uh, on the 6th of December I called for a 40-day fast and uh, we have a few days left to go and uh, I'm I'm still calling upon Ugandans. It's not too late to join this fast. We are still fasting for a peaceful transition, for unity in this country, and for security for all Ugandans. It's no longer business as usual in this country. As you've seen, there's a lot of bloodshed. We need to pray that the bloodshed doesn't increase towards the election time or after election time. If Ugandans are taking this for granted, I'm calling upon each and every one of you. It's important we have a peaceful transition this time around. So please don't take anything for granted. Until you have seen war and been part of it, you won't understand why it is important for us to pray and fast together. Because God needs to intervene in this time. Today is Sunday, so I'm asking you, every Christian, every Muslim, out there every peace loving Ugandan in this country I'm kindly requesting you join us on these last few days as we complete the 40 day fast as we pray for unity as Ugandans to be one for a peaceful change of government because we're going to have a peaceful we're going to have a change of government but we need a peaceful change of government and it's only God who can bring this about um, then the third thing we need to pray for security for our country we shouldn't take it for granted so I'm going to spend these last few days besides continuing with the campaign we're going to continue with prayer and fasting okay. then come January 14 how are you going to get to get your first um, at the different polling stations we're going to be having agents <clears throat> who will be uh, guarding our votes however I've asked, upon, I've asked and called upon all Ugandans our polling, our polling agents may not be enough because we are against a government that has bragged that they have the magic. And in the past there's been intimidation. You already know that uh, the people who usually get into this battle with us, you the media, are being muzzled by force. Uh, you're being told that if, you do not, uh, if you're not accredited then you cannot be behind your camera and perhaps even your report will not be admissible in court so it's very difficult times we're in because in the places where perhaps our if our polling agents are intimidated at least we know the media the cameras will be there that's what we're banking on but the government because they're not planning to play fair they are trying to chase the media out of it. Why ask the media to be accredited now as we are getting into the polls? Why did they do it five years ago? Why did they do it before? Why don't they wait for elections to be done? I was part of the media fraternity. And I know the challenges you face when you're trying to find stories, when you're trying to get information, especially um, investigative journalism is very life-threatening sometimes. And here is a time when 
the when our current leader who said he went to the bush to fight for us because he loved us is the same leader who is not loving us enough to step down from power so that we can have a peaceful transition so that he can be alive long enough to guide the next leader so that he can be alive long enough to look and see his legacy and now he's using the state power that we have given him through our votes over the years and he's using it against us i pray that if he's watching this as he calls us daughters sons and bazukuru that he will listen to our plea that right now it's not about him but it's about the uganda that he fought for and we pray that God will touch him and God will touch every man, woman in uniform to do the right thing on that day and not be used and follow instructions or orders from above that put Ugandans' lives at stake.